Hello and welcome to our examination of the news now in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. As with Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed, there are heralds scattered across the cities that we explore. In particular, these heralds help build the world around players and we will be examining them one by one. Without any further ado, I'll let the man speak. Warning to any seeking therapeutic cures at the hot springs of Berendino. A recent increase in temperature has rendered the terme inhospitable, and several casualties have been reported. Let's talk about hot springs. Humans have been using geothermal springs for thousands of years, and Romans in particular have been especially attached to these areas. Now I have looked and found only one city whose name is close to the one mentioned by the Herald, and that is Taranto, uh, in the southern part of Italy. There doesn't seem to be any truly memorable hot springs around that area, unfortunately, but there is a town that would fit this bill, and still does to this day, and that would be Saturnia. This small spa town in Tuscany has been inhabited since ancient times, and its waterfalls and rivers of 37 degrees Celsius water form natural pools that are widely visited. Well, regardless of name, as long as humans have been enjoying natural hot springs, they have been dying in them. Temperatures can change over time and even become deadly, as the Herald reports, and apparently that has happened recently. The village of Ferentino, having temporarily lost its ability to receive guests for cures in its magnificent hot springs, has instead announced a week-long outdoor pasta festa. The springs remain the main attraction. Pasta festa. This is an interesting further elaboration on the previous news alert, which you don't get very often here, and uh, it's one that I enjoy. To continue to attract visitors, the village is holding a festival focused on pasta, which sounds interesting and delicious, so I will be attending. A resurgence of lightweight coinage has been plaguing the città recently. The various Rioni councils and most guild member shops have necessary scales on site to perform verification. Remember, the penalties for tampering with any official mint issue are most severe. Let's talk about historical counterfeiting. As with people dying in hot springs, as long as there has been official currency, people have been counterfeiting it. I believe I've discussed this before, but it's worth discussing again. Lightweight coinage implies that nefarious people within the city and the region have been partaking in something called coin shaving or clipping. This was a practice where, as the name implies, people would shave off the edges and pieces of the coins. This therefore costs the shaver less and allows them to create other coins from the numerous shavings. Lightweight also could imply that some have taken less heavy and less valuable metals and covered them with a layer of precious metal. Either way, the Herald is reassuring the public that there are scales available basically everywhere and that they should be used. All pilgrims arriving in Rome should avoid the Città's bridges after dark. Recent troubles between gangs of armed youth have led to death among our esteemed faithful visitors. Avoiding certain colored clothing and accessories while in certain Rioni is advised. The first thought I had when I heard this was that it may be a reference to Ezio's fight in the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2. We all remember the scene with Vieri and the gang of youths. It could be a reference to that. My second thought was that I should touch on the fact that Rome is a common stop along the way for pilgrims heading to the Holy Land. In general, the city is a noteworthy stop for Christians of most denominations. With numerous religious sites, it would make sense for those on their way to Jerusalem to stop in. Cities of the past are just like cities of the present, where there are going to be incredibly dangerous spots, especially at night. So this advice should hit home with anyone who lives in Rome who's listening to the Herald. <laughs> Minstrels plying their trade within the city limits are asked to avoid performing the popular lay about the little boy of Brescia. It has caused several priests to suffer embarrassing physical juttings in public. Okay, um, this is an odd one. First off, minstrels were musicians, performers who recited lyric 
heroic poetry alongside music. Apparently, these performers have been using a lay about the little boy of Prussia. Not exactly sure who that's a reference to. Um, and the lay itself, I think, is uh, fictional. But regardless of this performance or what's in it, uh, it has apparently resulted in priests having, how should I put it, uncomfortable physical reactions. Um, take that as it is, and yeah, an interesting one. <laughs> and that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching, and um, catch us next time for more Assassin's Creed content.